This is Evan Gunter of S&P Global Fixed Income Research. In our recently published refinancing studies, we look at the maturing debt of rated companies globally. We find that $10.69 trillion is scheduled to mature through 2022. Firms have benefited from accommodative financing conditions and surprisingly low volatility this year, issuing new bonds and loans to refinance existing debt and extending maturities. Non-financial corporates globally have $6.4 trillion scheduled to mature through 2022. And this chart shows the current structure of the maturity wall versus where it stood one year ago. Companies have been able to push back their peak maturity year by one year to 2021, when $1.4 trillion is set to mature. With companies actively refinancing debt over the past year, non-financial companies have reduced the amount of debt maturing through 2020 by 11%, while the amount of debt maturing in 2021 and 2022 has increased by 23%. The majority of this debt is investment grade, rated triple B minus and higher. While just over a third of this debt is speculative grade, Despite its smaller share of the total, speculative grade debt shows higher credit risk. Speculative grade corporate maturities climbed from $51 billion in the second half of this year to $611 billion in 2022. Meanwhile, financial services companies have nearly $4.26 trillion scheduled to mature through 2022. And these companies tend to have debt that is more front-loaded as more of their current debt is composed of short and medium term notes. By the middle of last year, financials were looking at nearly $1 trillion set to mature in 2017. So far this year, financials have issued new debt to fund many of these obligations, lifting the amount set to mature in 2018 by 7%. Bond issuance growth has been positive in the first half of this year, as global corporate bond issuance has risen by 7%. And this has supported recent refinancing activity. For the rest of the year, we expect issuance growth to be relatively flat, with financial issuance flat to slightly negative and non-financial issuance flat to slightly positive. These figures include both rated and unrated bonds. And currently, the big question mark remains where Chinese issuance will end the year. The emerging market region accounts for just 7% of the global rated corporate debt maturing through 2022. But it's important to note that a substantial portion of the debt in this region is not rated. Funding conditions for emerging market debt face potential headwinds as China is seeing a growing demand from unrated entities as they seek to refinance their current maturity wall. Meanwhile, in Latin America, ongoing political instability in Brazil has been a drag on financing conditions. Companies from the developed markets account for 93% of the total rated debt maturing through 2022. By region, the U.S. has the largest share of the maturing corporate debt at 44%, followed by Europe at 37%. We expect refinancing demands should be manageable as long as funding conditions remain accommodative. However, potential risks do loom on the horizon as tightening monetary policies and rising global uncertainties could weigh on companies and markets. An unexpected move by either the Fed or the ECB could frighten markets. Adding to the global uncertainty are the yet-to-be-determined terms of Brexit, the debt overhang in China, and persisting elevated geopolitical and policy risk. Although the level of debt scheduled to mature through 2022 should be manageable in absolute terms, these many sources of uncertainty do cloud the picture for refinancing as well as for global economic growth and credit. Until next time, this has been Evan Gunter with S&P Global Fixed Income Research.